Good morning, yogis, and welcome back onto the mat with me today for a yin yoga sequence, which is all set to help improve your energy. It's not a long sequence, we've got a 30 minute um, set here, which is perfect for sort of in between meetings or in between activities in the day, which can really just help to boost your energy to carry you through the rest of your day. So for this um, sequence, we're only going to need a yoga mat, so grab that now, and let's begin. Bringing the hands into prayer. Close the eyes and allow yourself a few moments to tap within. Gently begin to rub the palms, generating some warmth, and then rest the hands into heart center. Begin to notice the breath as you inhale and exhale through the nose. On the next exhale, lower the hands down to the knees. And allow yourself a few more moments. Just noticing what thoughts you've carried with you into the room. What are the sensations within the body? How have you arrived on your mat today? And just for this next 30 minutes, allow yourself to become grounded once more, to become centered and to take this time to go within and be in the present moment. So we're going to begin with the first of our um, yin um, postures, which is dandling. So just roll yourself over and into tabletop for a moment. Press the palms into the mat. Tuck the toes, raise yourself up into a downward facing dog. Don't worry so much about the alignment here for now. Just gaze towards the fingers as you begin to walk the toes towards fingers. You can go halfway. And then just gently step the hands back. For dangling pose, we're going to have the feet hip with distance apart. And we're going to bend generously through the knees and allow the whole upper body to drift over the thighs. Not the head, yes, and no here. Just really allow the whole body to dangle down. We are here for three minutes, so just allow yourself to really let go into the shape. Allow the thighs to cascade, or the belly to cascade over the thighs. Hold no tension through the neck. Take a micro bend into the knees, and if ever you need a little rest or you need to come out, just flatten the hands onto the shins and gaze straight down to the ground. And then come back into the posture. And just settle there once more. This is the perfect time to breathe deeply into the chest cavity. So inhaling and exhaling right into the rib cage. Really allowing the body to expand and contract with each inhale and exhale. Just envisioning stress pouring all the way out from the top of the vertebra as though it's cascading down the spine like water pouring out through the top of the head. Just maintain that complete and utter um, relaxation within the neck so that you can really get juicy in this posture. Working to the three principles of yin yoga, finding your edge of a five, and then holding the posture in stillness. 
So it's really about finding that meditative side of this practice and allowing yourself to tap into that space. Soon moving into the last minute of this posture, just tap in with what's going on in your body. Are you able to surrender just a little more? stretch through the backs of the legs, beautiful stretch through the spine. Let's continuously bring your awareness back to the breath, inhaling and exhaling deeply. forward, flatten the palms, and gently step yourself back into downward facing dog. Take a moment here, just allowing yourself to feel into the stretch, and then drop the knees onto the mat, and gently come into seated. So the next shape or posture we'll be doing is called deer. So start yourself off in an easy seat, or sukhasana, and we're going to start on the left side. So we Send the left foot out. So if you're sitting on your mat running um, lengthwise, you want this left leg to be in line with the top of your mat. And then you're pressing this left hip down into the ground. We slide the right leg out. So the knee is almost in line here with the hip and the ankle in line with the knee. And then once you've done that, you can place your left hand onto the floor and gently twist around here. So this is called deer pose and we're going to be here for three minutes. So allow yourself to sink down once more. Really lengthen up through the spine here as you take that twist into deer. Press down into both hips, see if you can get them both down as close as possible to the ground. And then close the eyes and once more just follow the breath. For anyone who'd like to take this posture a little bit further, you can walk the hands over and drop the forehead down towards the ground. So this is another option for you in deer pose. I'm quite feeling the twist today, so I'm going to stay right there. Just allow yourself once more to tap into that space of stillness. Inhaling and exhaling deeply into the nose and exhaling through nose. Allowing yourself to sink down into the ground. Continue with your deep breathing, and exhale.
moving into this last minute of your deer pose. Gently twist back around and allow yourself to come out by gently bringing that right leg back, coming into your easy seat, and let's get ready to go over to the other side. So, right leg is going to come to the short edge or long edge of your mat, depending on which way you're facing. Press this right hip down into the ground, roll the left leg out. So knee in line with knee in line with the hip ankle in line with the knee and then once more place that hand down and allow yourself to twist over to the side press down as much as possible into both of the hips Take your deep breaths here. Be here for three minutes. Moving into the last minute, just continue to focus on the breath. yourself out of the position by sweeping the leg back and onto the mat. We're coming into the next posture which is called um, uh, side uh, seal. So to come into this posture we're going to start off in sphinx pose. So in sphinx pose you've got the thighs pressed into the ground, elbows pressing in, arms are, are lengthened, and we're gently going to roll over here onto the right hip. So extending now and lying flat down onto the right hip. You can have the left hand pressing down into the mat. And then just raise yourself up with uh, straightening the arm. And it's a beautiful stretch here through the side body. We are here for three minutes. So just let go into the shape. Close the eyes and just turn back to the breath. If this is too much for anyone, you can lower down and just take half of the um, posture, lower, lowering down onto the elbow. If not, just resolve to hold and find your space of stillness.
press the palm flat into the ground. Allow the whole body to almost sink into a state of relaxation here. into the last minute, just seeing where you can soften within the body. Allow yourself to lower down and roll back onto the belly, coming back into Sphinx Pose. So I'm going to twist myself around so I still see you, but we're about to roll onto the left hip. And we're about to take side seal now onto the left side. So from your Sphinx Pose, we are going to roll onto the left hip, drop the right hand in front of the body and then press into the mat and allow yourself once more to settle here. Be here for three minutes. Soften the legs, soften the feet and just allow yourself to be in this shape. Whatever it's presenting for you. Really allow yourself to settle down into this shape of side seal, taking that beautiful stretch through the side body. Make sure that you've softened the legs, that you've softened the entire body. Moving into the last minute of side seal on the side, just allow yourself once more to tap into the breath. target areas in this posture? Is it along your side body? Is it maybe in the waist? A little bit 
in the lower back. What are you feeling here? Just gauge into the shape. Softens for these last few minutes. And then gently roll onto the belly. And drop the forehead. Just take a little rest. And just keep around. Allow yourself just to rest. Deeply breathing in and out through the nostrils. Both the forehead resting on the tops of the hands. We're about to go into the next posture, which is cat pulling its tail. So we're going to stretch the arms out forward. And we're going to roll right onto the right side of the body. So we're going to take an easier version of this posture today. So we are working here into um, stretching through the um, hamstrings and into the legs. And we're going to take it a little bit um, easier than when we've actually grabbed hold of the foot here. So we're going to sweep the left or the, or the underside foot, which is the right foot in this situation behind the, the body and grab hold. So this is the holding the tail part. Then you're going to sweep the top foot up and from here you can raise up onto the elbow. And this is where I'd like you to be for the next three minutes. So once again, finding that place of stillness, you should be feeling a lovely pull here through the back of the leg. And if you're able to shift that knee a bit further, maybe you feel a little bit of a quad stretch here too. So just settle down into the shape. We're here for three minutes. Close the eyes once more and allow yourself to just sink into the space. Soften into the position, allow yourself to melt and release any tension through the body here. What is the shape presenting for you? To the last minute. Just allow yourself to really soften in this last minute. Gently allow yourself to come out, rolling back onto the side body. And we're going to move, roll over now to the other side. So I'm just going to flip around and lie onto the belly once more. Stretch the arms out in front of you. 
and then we're rolling onto the left hip. And once more, aligning ourselves for cat pulling its tail. So bring the leg forward, grab hold of the underside foot, and once more, allow yourself to come up and settle down into the stretch. into your space of stillness and begin to just focus on your breath. Deep inhalations and exhalations. Just focus on your breath. Allow yourself to sink further into the shape as we move into the last minute. few seconds. Just allow yourself to fall even deeper into the shape. <whistles> Gently press the hands or straighten the legs, shall I say, come back down onto the belly. Take a little rest here. Take a few moments. We're going to roll onto the back body. So we're coming into the last of our energy improving yin um, shapes. And this one is called snail. So this one, if you have any issues in your neck, please just be really careful with this one. So if you go into it and you're feeling any pain whatsoever, if it's too much, just come out and go straight into Shavasana. So to go into snail, we draw the knees up in towards the forehead and we stretch the legs over into plow and then draw the knees down towards the outer edges of the ears and just remain here. So again, if this is not accessible, you can just bring the toes over into plow or if you have a chair that you can rest the feet on a little bit higher, you can do that. But this is the full expression of snail pose. It may take you some time to work into this space. Just do what works for you. Again, 
if you have any um, issues with your discs in the spine, just avoid this posture. Any fusions, any slip discs. Just continue to breathe deeply. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Moving into the last minute here, just allow yourself to sink down. Gently raise up onto the toes, bring the hands into the small of the back as you very gently begin to roll down one vertebra at a time. Replacing each vertebra back onto the mat and then hug the knees into the chest. Tuck the chin in, just roll the head over from side to side here. Coming into Shavasana, bring the feet out to the edges of your mat. Hands out beside you and just allow yourself to relax. Breathing deeply into the belly, inhaling and exhaling. Softening the whole back body down into the ground. Just soften the body, allow yourself the last few moments in corpse pose. And then when you're ready, gently begin to wriggle your toes. Taking the tip of your thumb and gently drawing it across the tips of your fingers. Allowing your head to roll over from one side to the other, drawing the arms up overhead for a last deep stretch before rolling over onto either your right or your left side for a last moment. Just stay down in a sort of fetal position and I'll bring to you our reading. Try to let go of the idea that you need to do yoga perfectly in order to see its benefits. Rather, let it be a process of waking up to who you really are.
If you do this, you will know joy. And that joy will be your gift to a world that very much needs healing. So, when you're ready, come back up into easy seat. So, Kasna, bringing one leg in front of the other, pressing both sit bones down into the ground. Bring your hands back into prayer. Gently begin to rub the palms together, generating some warmth. And then sending those hands into heart center, taking a deep inhale through the nose. And as you exhale, bow the nose down to the fingertips, taking a moment to acknowledge yourself for making this short time to gain a little bit boost of energy. Namaste.